Um, I'd like to talk about a few bugs that people have experienced and we might actually try and test out and see if we can replicate at least one of these bugs here. Um, essentially, when it comes to this new class, there are some bugs just in terms of like how the, the spells work, um, which is of course expected because it's a new class. Of course, there's going to be bugs. Uh, but some of these are kind of like blizzard decisions that I'm a little bit scared that they see this as intended going forward. Uh, one of those things is that one of the big features about Evoker is that we got so many different options at the Barber, uh, which is also, I think, one of the reasons they made the Barber free, because when Evoker came out, people are going to experiment a lot at the Barber because uh, they want to have the unique dragon forms, right? So they can't just say, oh, the Barber is free for the first month. Like, they just made it free so we can keep uh, just changing our appearance as we want. I just want to say that a lot of people want many different things when it comes to what I'm about to say, and I'm... I'm going the more realistic route. I'm going for what is clearly intended and not things that I want to put on the wish list for Evoker to have in the future. Like these would be nice to add to the Evoker, for example. Like I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about what is broken and what needs to be fixed for someone who likes to look at my Evoker visually. Uh, essentially, we have all these Barber options that I talked about. But when we go out from the Barber option, they get transmogged onto our evoker, which you might think, well, that's okay. It looks nice with this. Oh, and then we look at the belt. Yes. So it's clipping into my belt option at the barber. Uh, not just that, the same thing will happen for the shoulder. Like it's, it, it doesn't appear that Blizzard has said, oh, okay. So he transmogged a belt onto his character. So we should remove the belt from the barber options, you know, while that belt is transmogged onto the character. They didn't do that. Instead, they just said, you know what, let's just have both of them on there at the same time. Let's just have them clip into each other. And that seems like a really odd design choice that is obviously not intended. They haven't addressed it yet. <laughs> and it's been there since Evoca came out. It was there on beta. People buck reported it. It's still here. It kind of feels like they have like half the, the design team saying, oh, I like transmogs and the ev evoker form, you know, the dragon form. And then the other half is like, no, I like the barber options. We're going to give them a ton we can use so they don't need these transmogs. And then they, you know, didn't really come to a decision. And now we got both and they're clipping into each other. Personally, if you ask me, remove all the different transmog options for the evoker form. When I say evoker form, I mean the dragon form, just to clarify. Um, and then when you want to go into visits form, then keep all the transmog that you uh, collected. Like, you know, I want to see my transmog on my character. I don't want this to be removed and have my dragon appearance, you know, the barber options on this character. Um, that, it would be a nice addition if we could also have those as transmogs on our character, but make it so that if we have a belt or shoulders transmogged onto our visits form, remove them inside the dragon form, please, because they're clipping and it looks weird. Um, why give us all those barber options and, and advertise like, oh, you have a trillion options in here and then have them, you know, completely get ruined by our transmog. And I know that people are kind of two sided about this. I know some people are like, oh, I love the dragon form, you know, just remove the, the armor that we collected, you know, what I transmog from the visit form too. just just have all the barber options be in both forms. And no. Do not do that, okay? Because I love transmogging, like I said. PvP and transmogging is my two favorite things to do in the game. I love being able to transmog my character. But when it comes to the dragon form, I don't want to see the transmog on it. I think we got excellent barber options with all the clothing and armor we could put on our characters. Sure, I would love if more came in the future but as it is right now i love the belt i can choose inside the barber option and i hate that my regular transmog is interfering with it why change all the like th it, there's no logic behind this other than oh well some players want to be able to transmog their dragon form too um, let's just add that on top of our barber options and have them clip like i don't know what i, I don't get the decision behind this and i hope this is a bug that is going to get fixed in the future because i love seeing my dragon i love seeing my evoker uh, my my visits form but i hate they have to collide in this way you can't get the visits form the way you want it because if you want to have this armor set for my visits form because i think it looks amazing 
If I go into dragon form, oh, now that one is ruined. Okay, what can we do to fix this? Well, I like looking at my dragon form, so I'm going to unmog my shoulder and my belt from my uh, character because, you know, then my barber options are just going to show on my dragon form. Well, what is going to happen then? We go into visage form and we have no shoulder and we have no belt. There's no win. At least there's no win-win. There's a win-lose or lose-win. There's, there's no both. And it, it's frustrating for someone who likes looking at their character in the transmog. So, yeah. <laughs> That's probably my biggest issue, like, when it comes to, like, the... Uh, is this a bug? This can't be intended, right? I don't know. By the way, to anyone in the comments saying, well, I want to have no transmog on my business form either. I just want to have the barber options or, you know, oh, I, I, I want to have all the transmog gear from my visage form just appearing in my dragon form. I want everything on the dragon. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Like, I'm going to be harsh here. You're wrong. Okay. I want the dragon form to just have the barber options. Don't 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 get into like trying to give us all our transmog on the dragon form as well because why give us the barber options it's going to completely like make it just it would have been a waste of time for the developers to make all this amazing stuff at the barber if we can override it with our own transmog like i love the dragon form i love the options that the the devs gave us i i think it's clearly intended that we're supposed to have the barber options as our dragon form why allow for the transmog to clip onto it? Yes, this is a very important issue to me. And uh, yeah, I have ranted about this for a long time, but it, it needs to be addressed because I, I hate looking at this. I hate looking at it clipping. I love the shoulder on my character here. It, lo it fits. I love how this shoulder fits with everything else that I put on my character. But I would so much just sacrifice the shoulder and the belt just to see my visits, uh, to, to see my barber options on the dragon, um, <laughs> to have it not clip. Okay, but let's talk about some of the other bugs. Um, we do also have a bug where whenever you use, well, at, at least this is mostly when it comes to Eternity Surge, which is the, you know, the, the spell that you charge up. So if I drop this thing here and I charge up Eternity Surge, you can see everything turns dark down here when it comes to the spells. Uh, a lot of people experience that everything stays dark. Like they, they can still press the spells, but the visuals of the spell icons turn dark. So, you know, like you you can't use them right now. And it's just kind of like, uh, it's just one of those simple visual bugs that of course it needs to be fixed. Uh, but that is a bug that a lot of people are seeing. Uh, we're also seeing some issues where when you shoot out Pyre, if that's how you say it, uh, let's say in PVP, and the opponent goes behind a pillar as you cast it, it actually gets deleted mid-air. Like it just disappears. And it, did it just do it? Yeah, it doesn't hit. There it is. It doesn't hit. <laughs> so if you like out of like if you line of sight them, uh, it, it kind of registers it as a channel. See, it's not hitting. Yeah, so uh, very easy to duplicate. Clearly, um, that's definitely an issue when it comes to PvP. Uh, we do also have some issues where the essences beneath. Uh, actually, I think this might be more like if you have the um, uh, the resources showing underneath your character. Uh, on top of the, uh, the the enemy over here because you can toggle that inside your settings uh, but in some cases you need to like reload your ui because it shows like a full stack of essences even though you don't have a full stack and the only way to get rid of it is by reloading the ui or if you allow for the essences to charge all the way up again and then you start using them then it's going to overwrite and turn back to normal uh, so the essence is showing is bugged out as well in a lot of cases, or at least sometimes it happens. Uh, we do also have an issue with disintegrate this effect here. Uh, I mostly experienced this in PvP, but I also experienced it inside Torghast quite a lot. And I think it has something to do with when there's a lot of stuff happening on screen at the same time, uh, and I'm moving as I'm using it. Uh, I think it happens mostly in hover state, uh, but essentially it doesn't shoot out the visual effects. And sometimes it does still hit them. I can see their health going down and other times nothing is happening. It still uses my essences, but nothing is happening, uh, at least not visually. Uh, so that's a, a bug that needs addressed too. Um, and just kind of like a fun one that I kind of noticed. I was doing all the content with my friends, uh, you know, like some of the classic or Wrath dungeons, uh, Wrath specifically in this case here. 
And you know how when you finish one of those dungeons in Party Sync, like, you know, when you do the older ones, you get a bag at the end when you complete it with gear in it. I would actually get two bags every time. I would get one for Wrath and then I would get a normal bag. I think it's it's one of the classic bags. So every time I complete it, I would get two bags, but one of them was bugged. Like you couldn't open it. And if you tried to do so, it would just like darken out, like gray out. Um, and you would have to wait, you know, maybe do a slash reload or lock in again or wait a certain amount of time. And then you would have to like, th then you could access it again. So you could delete it. Uh, so you would get two bags every time. And it's, it's not really like anything game breaking. It's just kind of a weird thing that happens. I did also have pretty much all my spells except for my dis uh, dispels and my blessing of the bronze buff inside like low level dungeons. Like I had all those, uh, everything else. It was just crazy. Like I had so many more abilities than everyone else in the group in Party Sync. Um, I don't know if that's intended because usually they remove a lot of your abilities. Um, I don't know if this is a change after new talent system or something, but it didn't seem right. I didn't mind it. It was fun, but I don't think I was supposed to have all those abilities. <laughs> Another really important bug that I, I feel very strongly about, just like with the uh, visuals clipping with the, the armor, uh, Chosen Identity is this spell down here where when you toggle it, as soon as you uh, leave soaring or you leave your hover or you leave combat. Did they change it? I'm pretty sure it used to say, say hover, but now it says soaring. Um, but essentially, whenever you would get out of combat, it's going to change you back into your visage form, which is the, the humanoid form, right? Uh, and this basically allows for you to see your human form whenever you are not in combat. And then when you get into combat, oh, it actually went away. Um, it automatically swaps into your visage form, which is just absolutely amazing they included that. Worgen should have that too, by the way. It's a very, very, very awesome ability. I don't know why they haven't added this to Worgen in the past, but you know, I hate seeing my Worgen form constantly. The, the reason people play a Worgen a lot of times is because they love the fantasy of being a werewolf, but they don't want to be a werewolf 24 seven. And then every time they leave combat, they have to manually press a button to change back into human form. Like we're a werewolf, we're not a wolf as a Worgen. So, you know, having chosen identity as Worgen as well should be a thing. Like, and I don't know why they don't have that yet. Um, so essentially, uh, whenever you go into combat, uh, you can actually see it swapped me out here. I used my hover and I stayed in uh, in dragon form. It should not do that. Um, so I go in attack, we swap into dragon, I leave combat, I go back into visits form. As soon as we get, there we go. Um, it doesn't work with hover for some reason. Uh, sometimes it does. If I let this actually run out, Let's see what happens here. You can actually have my charge here. It should turn me back into human form. Um, and it doesn't. So I have to manually press my visage form in order to go into visage form. And it's so annoying. It's it, I, I don't know why they haven't added this effect to... I, I know from a game dev point of view, a lot of people, they just wanted to be like constantly checking if we're inside uh, our dragon form and not inside visage form. Um, but I know th that takes up quite a bit of performance uh, when you especially have a large game like this that has a lot of things that gets checked every single frame. Uh, so having to also check when you play a drag theory if you're inside visit form or not is, is just time consuming and, and performance consuming for the, the game, which is why they have made it so that the, the chosen identity is only going to get triggered when you leave combat or after soaring. Uh, because that is more of a trigger event rather than checking it every single frame. So that's a lot more uh, performance friendly. Uh, but I would love for them to also do something about uh, hover. You know, when you're done with hover, it goes back into the humanoid form. Uh, especially also if, you, um, uh, if you're in combat or something or if you do something and then you take a portal somewhere else and you're in your dragon form and, ha and it hasn't yet turned you into a humanoid form, it's going to keep you in the dragon form, uh, which is kind of weird. So like there, there's some things there like chosen identity is really amazing. And I really hope that they're going to address it so that we, you know, it works and turns us into our visage form all the time whenever we need to.